please stand. The Lord be with you. Also with you. Today we begin Holy Week, the most holy week, with Palm Sunday celebration, ending with the reading of the Passion of our Lord. The order of service is as printed. The hymns are in the hymnals. We begin with all glory, laud, and honor. Hosanna to the son of David. Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Now when they drew near to Jerusalem, to Bethpage and Bethany, at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately as you enter it, you will find a colt tied, on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it. If anyone says to you, Why are you doing this? Say, The Lord has need of it, and will send it back here immediately. And they went away and found a colt tied to a door outside in the street, and they untied it. And some of those standing there said to them, Why, what are you doing untying the colt? And then they told them what Jesus had said, and they let them go. And they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks on it, and he sat on it. And many spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut from the fields. And those who went before and those who followed were shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The Lord be with you. you. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty and everlasting God, you sent your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to take upon himself our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross. Mercifully grant that we may follow the example of his great humility and patience, be made partakers of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. The reading from God's word for Palm Sunday is from Zechariah chapter 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. Righteous and having salvation is he, humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. I will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the war horse from Jerusalem, and the battle bow shall be cut off, and he shall speak peace to the nations. His rule shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. 
As for you also, because of the blood of my covenant to you, I will set your prisoners free from the waterless pit. Return to your stronghold, O prisoners of hope. Today I declare that I will restore you to I will restore to you double. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The epistle is from Philippians chapter 2. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he, is fr- he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. This is the word of the Lord. Let us confess our sins to God our Father. Most merciful God, we confess that we are by nature sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We justly deserve your present and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, Have mercy on us, forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God in his mercy has given his son to die for you and for his sake forgives you all your sins. As a called ordained servant of Christ and by his authority, I therefore forgive you all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We confess our faith. The words of the Apostles' Creed are found on the inside cover of the hymnal. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the holy Christian church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who in faith, piety, and love come to receive his gifts and praise his name, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy that the Lord would uphold this world in his order for the church, that she would feel defended from all enemies, for our homes, that the Lord would bless parents and children in service toward each other and faith until life's end, and for the government, that God would grant all authorities health and wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our catechumens, especially Elena, Kaylee, Lillian, and Tyler, that they may grow in repentance, faith, and holy living, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the sick and sorrowful, for those who mourn, and for all who stand in need of our prayers, especially Michael and Danielle, Annette and Bob, Carrie, Chris, and the Cragen family, Dorothy, Emmy Lou, and Frank, Gail, Gerald, Jane, and Janet, Jim, John, and June, Justin, Karen, and Kyle, 
Marjorie, Mary and Melody, Paige and Phyllis, Phyllis, Rita, Shayla and Sherm, Susie, Troy, Zoe, and the family and friends of Sharon, and all those we name in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who commune this day, that they would receive our Lord's body and blood in repentance and faith for the forgiveness of sins and in the unity of a true confession, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we here remember the sufferings and death of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, for our salvation. Praising his victorious resurrection from the dead, we draw strength from his ascension before you, where he ever stands for us as our own high priest. Gather us together, we pray, from the ends of the earth to celebrate with all the faithful the marriage feast of the Lamb and his kingdom, which has no end. Graciously receive our prayers, deliver and preserve us, for to you alone we give all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A few announcements this morning. We thank you for your continued support of faith. Uh, we ask that you give offering here in, when you're here in person, or we have uh, the online option, uh, or using your bank bill pay. Additionally, uh, it is Holy Week, and so we will have services on Thursday evening, Monday, Thursday, Holy Thursday, this Thursday evening at 6.30, Good Friday, 6.30, Sunday at 7.30 a.m. and 10 a.m. That is all the normal service schedule. The only thing that's missing this year is the Easter breakfast. So we rejoice to be uh, together for Holy Week. Um, for communion today, a little bit different. So the elder will uh, lay out as we've been doing. We ask you to distance on each side as you come up. We'll go table by table. And then instead of leaving, return to your seat because we have the reading of the Passion of Our Lord at the end of the service. Um, also, in the announcements, you'll notice on the back page, we are in need of additional folks to help with the long-range planning fundraising. We will have a training session on Thursday. So if you'd like to get involved in that committee, now is a great time to sign up.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Yeah, the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly good, right, and salutary that we should at all times and all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who accomplished the salvation of mankind by the tree of the cross, that where death arose, their life might also rise again, and that the serpent who overcame by the tree of the garden might likewise by the tree of the cross be overcome. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and singing. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
The Passion of Our Lord from the Gospel according to St. Mark, 15, chapter 15, 1 through 47. The congregation plays the part of the crowd. You will see your responses in the line that precedes them. Please join us for those responses. We sing hymn 444, No Tramp of Soldiers Marching Feet. Hear the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Mark. And they went to a place called Gethsemane, and Jesus said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. And he took with him Peter and James and John, and began to be greatly distressed and troubled. And he said to them, My soul is very sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and watch. And going a little further, he fell to the ground and prayed, that if, if it, it were, were possible, possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all, all things are possible, possible for you. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I will, but you will. And he came and found them sleeping, and he said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not watch one hour? Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. And again he went away and prayed, saying the same words. And again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were very heavy, and they did not know what to answer him. And he came the third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? It is enough. The hour has come. 
The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. And immediately, while, while he, he was, was still, still speaking, speaking, Judas came, one of the twelve, and with him a crowd with swords and clubs, from the chief priests and the scribes and the elders. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Seize, Seize him. him. And lead him away under guard. And when he came, he went up to him at once and said, Rabbi. Rabbi. And he kissed him. And they laid hands on him. Laid hands on him and seized him. But one of those who stood by drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. And Jesus said to them, Have you come out, out as against a robber, with swords and clubs to capture me? Day after day I was with you in the temple, teaching, and you did not seize me. But let the scriptures be fulfilled. And all, all the, the disciples, disciples left him and fled. And a young man followed him with nothing but a linen cloth about his body. And they seized him. But he left the linen cloth and ran away naked. And they led Jesus to the high priest. And all the chief priests and the elders, elders and the scribes, scribes came together. And Peter had followed him at a distance right into the courtyard of the high priest. And he was sitting with the guards and warming himself at the fire. Now the chief priests and the whole council were seeking testimony against Jesus to put him to death. But, but they, they found, found none. none. For many bore false witness against him. But their testimony did not agree. And some stood up and bore false witness against him, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands. Destroy the temple, and in three days I will build another. Another temple, not made with hands. Yet even about this, their testimony did not agree. And the high priest stood up in their midst and asked Jesus, Have you no answer to make? What is this that these men testify against you? But he remained silent and made no answer. Again, the high priest asked him, Are, Are you, you the Christ, Christ, the Son of the Blessed? And Jesus said, I, I am. am. And you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming with the clouds of heaven. And the high priest tore his garments and said, What further witnesses do we need? You have heard his blasphemy. 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 People, what is your decision? He, he deserves, deserves death. death. And some began to spit on him. And to cover his face and to strike him, saying to him, Prophesy, prophesy, prophesy to us, you Christ. And the guards received him with blows. And as, pa as Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the servant girls of the high priest came. And seeing Peter warming himself, she looked at him and said, You also were with the Nazarene, Jesus. But, but he, he denied, denied it. it. I neither know nor understand what you mean. And he went out into the gateway. And the rooster crowed. And the servant girl saw him and began again to say to the bystanders, This man is one of them. Again, again he, he denied, denied it. it. And after a little while, the bystanders again said to Peter, Certainly you are one, one of them, them, for you are a Galilean. But he began to invoke a curse on himself. I, I swear to you. you I do not know this man of whom you speak. And immediately the rooster crowed a second time. And Peter remembered how Jesus had said to him, Before the rooster crows twice, you will deny me three times. And he broke down and wept. And as soon as it was, was morning, morning. The chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council. And they bound Jesus and led him, him away and delivered him over to Pilate. And Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? You have said so. And the chief priests accused him of many things. And Pilate again asked him, Have you no answer to make? See how many charges they bring against you. 
But Jesus made no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Now at the feast, Pilate used to release for them one prisoner for whom they asked. And among the rebels in prison, who had committed murder in the insurrection, there was a man called Barabbas. And the crowd came up and began to ask Pilate to do as he usually did for them. And he answered them, saying, Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he perceived that it was out of envy that the chief priest had delivered him up. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas instead. And Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with the man you call the, the king, king of, of the, the Jews? Jews? Crucify him. Crucify, crucify him. him, crucify him, crucify him. People, what will you do with Jesus, who is called Christ? Crucify him. Why, what evil has he done? Crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released for them Barabbas. And having scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. And the soldiers led him away inside the palace. That is the governor's headquarters. And they called together the whole battalion. And they clothed him in a purple cloak. And twisting together a crown of thorns. They put it on him. And they began to salute him. Hail, 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 hail king, king of, of the, the Jews. Jews. People, hail your king. Hail, hail king, king of, of the, the Jews. Jews. And they were striking his head with a reed. And spitting on him. And kneeling down in homage to him. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. And they led him out to crucify him. And they compelled a passerby, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus. And they compelled this man, Simon, to carry his cross. And they brought him to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull. And they offered him wine mixed with myrrh. But he did not take it. And they crucified him and divided his garments among them, casting lots for them decide what each should take. And it was the third hour when they crucified him. And the inscription of the charge against him read, The, the King, King of, of the, the Jews. Jews. And with them they crucified two robbers, one on his right and one on his left. And those who passed by derided him, wagging their heads and saying, Aha, you who would destroy the temple, who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days. Save, Save yourself, if, if you are the Son, Son of God. God. Come down from the cross. So also the chief priests with the scribes mocked him with one another, saying, He saved others. He cannot save himself. Let this Christ, this Christ, the King of Israel, let this King now come down from the cross. And, and we, we will see, see and, and believe, believe in him. him. Those, Those who were crucified with him, him also reviled him. And when the sixth hour had come, there was darkness. 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 Over the whole land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice. My, my God, God, my God, God why, why have you forsaken me? Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. And some of the bystanders hearing it said, Behold, he is calling Elijah. And someone ran and filled the sponge with sour wine. And put it on a reed. And gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let, let us see whether Elijah, Elijah will come to take, take him down. And Jesus uttered a loud cry and breathed his last. And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. 
and the rocks were split. And the curtain was torn. And the earth shook. And the curtain was torn. And the rocks were split. And the earth shook. And the curtain was torn. And the tombs were opened. And the rocks were split. And the earth shook. And the rocks were split. And the earth shook. And the rocks were split. And the tombs were opened. And the curtain was torn in two from top to bottom. And when the centurion who stood facing him saw that in this way he breathed his last, he said, Truly, 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 truly this man was the Son of God. There were also women looking on from a distance, among whom were Mary Magdalene, and Mary, the mother of James the Younger, and of Joseph, and Salome. When he was in Galilee, they followed him and ministered to him. And there were also many other women who came up with him to Jerusalem. And when evening had come on the day of preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, who was also himself looking for the kingdom of God, took courage. Joseph took courage and went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Pilate was surprised to hear that he should have already died. And summoning the centurion, he asked him whether he was already dead. And when he learned from the centurion that he was dead, he granted the corpse to Joseph. And Joseph bought a linen shroud and, taking him down, wrapped him in the linen shroud and laid him in a tomb that had been cut out of the rock. And he rolled a stone against the entrance of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, saw where he was laid. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. 